Daltons, you are incorrigible. This escape attempt will be your last. I have asked for you to be transferred to Beefstown Sulphur Mines. Oh, no! This penitentiary is like a home, Mr. Peabody. You can't send us away like that. Mr. Peabody, have you read this month's penitentiary passion? There's an article about a machine that makes the most hardened criminals gentle as lambs. Hmm. And the sound level should be here. Hey, oh, what's this all about, Mr. Peabody? We're not guinea pigs. Oh, come, come, Joe. Thanks to this machine's modernism, you will soon be rid of all your evil thoughts. And flow. Oh. Did you say free? That's fine by me. Go ahead, Miss Betty. Blast us. Cool. A movie. I hope they give us popcorn. Ooh. Hello, my friends. I'm Precious the Friendship Bunny. I'm here to teach you about don't think twice, be nice. Ah! <laughs> Seems awfully harsh. Will they be in there long? Given that one hour of treatment is equivalent to one hour in prison, simple to calculate, I'd say, uh, uh 350 hours. Violence only leads to more violence. Take that wickedness out of your hearts. There you are, my friends. Our journey is over now, but I shall always, always be with you. And don't forget... Don't, don't think, think twice, twice just, just always be nice. nice. Oh, no, we didn't see the end. Where did the pink kangaroo go? Well, how do you feel? Sweet as a bunny rabbit, Mr. Peabody. Isn't that right? Hmm. Oh. How very awkward of me. Here you are, Mr. Peabody. Those things are for bandits. Don't think twice, always be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my word. Here you are. Is this the line for the new Pink Kangaroo movie? We're going to miss you, Dalton. Darn, where did the Daltons go? I'm going to miss the beginning of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very oh. nice, taking a bank vault that doesn't belong to you. Huh? What's this thing doing here? I do not want to see you or your fluffy ears around me. Get back to your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would have happened to your stupid pink bunny. He is in your head because of Peabody's treatment. All in your head. Well, no, Joe. I swear there's nothing in my head. Take that anger out of your heart, Joe. Okay, bunny. It's time for rabbit stew. Violence only leads to more violence, Joe. Fill your heart. Ah! 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 Fantastic! Not just the pink kangaroo movie again, but even better, I need it. What are we doing now, Joe? I bought the same machine as Peabody to reverse the process. We're going back inside our heads to get rid of that rabbit. Sit down. <laughs> this time I'm not waiting for popcorn. He's a boon. Joe? Inside our heads. And we're the ones who run this show. Come on, let's get down to business. Bunny! 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 Who wants a great big hug? Yeah. <laughs> 
Miss Betty, what peaceism! I'm writing to the governor to fully recommend this machine. Hey, you know what, Dolgens? I heard that the pink kangaroo is preparing a sequel to his adventures. I can't wait. Thank you for agreeing to this movie screening, sir. Seeing a real hero will give our prisoners a sense of true moral value. A movie is a way to escape reality. Well, then I'd better nail this door shut, just in case. If we manage to sneak behind the screen, we can get away in a jiffy. What do we do about the nails? Huh? Don't worry, we'll find a way. Crazy Wolf thanks Miss Squaw for invitation. Our witch doctor, Fabulous Falcon, is very eager to see the magic lantern. You won't be disappointed. The cinematography is so realistic that the first spectators really believed a train was coming at them. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous Falcon was right to bring his magic tomahawk along. You never know. Oh! more to knock a wall down. Much more light in here now. The images are realistic, but the Indian dancing is fake. <laughs> Get moving, you ninny! Not now. We're going to miss the movie. And it's Western. You idiot! Poor girl lost her voice. Oh, good! Here's the doctor now! How lucky is she? Milk the milk to help me enjoy this. This strange. Let's go! Huh? I'm dreaming that I'm escaping. It's true what they say. We dream in black and white. How did he do that? Unbelievable. That actor looks exactly like Avril. Yeah. It's a good idea to put an anti-germ mask on. That's much healthier. So quiet, so calm. <laughs> Tell me, sir, is there a grocery store around here? Let's not ask how. Let's just do like ever. Yeah! <laughs> Sure, the good guys always win in the movies. Yeah, but the bullets are fake. Nothing can happen to us. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> the Daltons? <laughs> the Daltons are escaping! Stop the screaming! We mustn't do that, sir. They could be trapped in the film forever. <laughs> 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 the 
little bird tells Crazy Wolf that Fabulous Falcon didn't watch over his magic tomahawk. Okay, we pick up the big ninny, we nab the horses, and we get away as far as fast as we can. What are we doing here? Well, this is the next scene in the movie, Joe, when the hero chases the villain through the desert. Hmm? Huh? Ah! We've got to get out of this movie! Buddy, for once the bad guys win. There, the doctor is sick too now. He's all gray. Oh la la. My hero, even more handsome in real life. Oh. Oh, so you crazy about me too, though? <laughs> I actually preferred it when he was silent. <gasps> well then, the bad guys always get punished in the end. Otherwise, there's no moral to the story. Sorry, we won't be bothering you longer. We're getting out of here! Ah! No, Joe! We'll end up bad! We'll end up bad! Yeah! At the start of the movie. <laughs> Nobody touches my tomahawk. Dream on, Joe Dalton. You will never be a movie star. No one likes watching you on screen. <laughs> <laughs> are a true miracle of nature, and perhaps you know this? Remarkable athletes! For example, carrier pigeons can carry up to 50 times their own weight. Hmm. Hear that, oh. Joe? Up to 50 times ah. their own weight? Isn't that amazing? How dare you wake me up like that? What did you say? 50 times? Hmm. That's interesting. By the way, Miss Betty, can we build a dove coat for those cute little carrier pigeons to visit us here? Pigeons? Out of the question. They'll disturb our peace and quiet. Oh. But, Mr. Peabody, keeping birds would help our inmates accept their lives behind bars. Hmm? But I... Oh, thank you, uh... Mr. Peabody! Yeah! <laughs> What a beautiful dove coat! All that in one day? Well done, Deltons! Look, Joel, I've already collected breadcrumbs to make it beep! Sweet, 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 sweet! Die! Told you, Joel! You ninny! Who cares about making them beep? This thing is going to make them fly us to freedom! And the pigeons are doing all the hard work! I know, I'm a genius. Tomorrow oh. we shall learn how to communicate with birds using bird collars. See, you blow inside them very softly, like this. <laughs> oh. It's okay, I've got it. Mm. 
Oh, little guy, did your mom abandon you? Nothing to be frightened of with me. Quee quee, quee quee, my name's Winking Dumb. Quee 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 quee. Time to wake up, birdies! Uh, you ought to blow the whistle more softly, Joe, just like Miss Betty said. <laughs> Hang on, Tad, we're about to take off! We did it! We are free! Let's head for the nearest town! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, come and see. The Dalton flew right out of here. Yep, guess we're the pigeons now! I knew it! This idea was ridiculous. Oh, how awfully silly I am. The Dalton stole my bird collar. Mr. Peabody, to make up for it, here's an emergency bird collar. Let's go. We'll bring them back. Birds of a feather stick together. Peabody's work. My mission, take the egg home to Mama. Wings and dummies, always ready. <laughs> Passengers will soon be flying over Guacamole City, famous for its colorful market and... It's bag filled with tons of gold! <laughs> Cheers for the Dalton Brothers! They just invented the aerial hold-up! Yeah! <laughs> so, who's the ninny who shortened the ropes? Well, I did, Joe. I thought we might get down faster that way. Logical, right? Well, you didn't see a curious object fly over the bank like a carriage, but without horses, just a bunch of wings. They're too far ahead of us. We'll <laughs> never catch them. Quee quee. Yeah. What about Miss Betty's emergency bird collar? You're right. There's no point in complaining. Let's see what this little bit of wood can do for us. <laughs> Wing Brigade! Oh, Miss Betty was right. These high-speed wingers have the altitude to find the Daltons. Mm. Oh, you hate starting your show. Don't be afraid. One day you'll know how to fly. Watch how they do it. Joe, we're too heavy. The pigeons can't keep the altitude. Don't care. We're going to Mexico. Say, Joe, don't mean to interrupt, but what's that on the horizon? Wow! Giant eagles! I order you to land right now, Dolphins! Never! Faster, Admiral! We have to get away! Hi there, Mr. Peabody! <laughs> Just let them try. We've winked out on them. They're catching up! Make us go faster! But we can't go any faster, Joe! Then we'll have to drop some ballast! <laughs> you must never give up! You make it this way! Oh, no! <laughs> The pigeon's wings are full of flag. <laughs> Farewell and thank you, wings of our beautiful nation. Well then, Daltons, tried to fly the coop, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I love making jokes to <laughs> One of these days, I'll tar and feather him. <laughs> now, sir, what makes a jail stand out? Its environment? Of course. Nasty inmates, perhaps. Maybe the spiteful guards, certainly. But what is a jail without an inmate's accessory? Rather, his jewels. The ball and chain. Mm hmm? 
Ooh, a band sailing dodgeballs. The fake fur ball and chain, the convict's comforter. The disco ball for dance floor drama. <laughs> the crystal ball for the superstitious. The bowling ball to keep prisoners entertained. Shall we try? Yeah! It's yeah! All that great, but a ball and chain's most important feature is security. Well then, look no further than the eyeball. Eye for incredible. Demonstration. Go on then, escape. <laughs> Are you sure about this system? Don't you worry, they won't get far. The ball is connected to a network of underground wires surrounding the penitentiary, and if the prisoner goes beyond the barrier... <laughs> The eyeball. Eye for incredible. Hmm. Hmm. The system's 100% foolproof. Satisfaction or money back guarantee. No silly gadget ball and chain will stop us getting away. Hey, I got through! job is getting to be fun. Yeah, this is great. If the ball's high enough, the wires won't detect it. <laughs> I feel dizzy, Joe. Mm -hmm. This is truly impressive. Yes. In fact, with this system, we almost don't need guards. Hmm? Think we might lose our jobs? Better show them the system doesn't work. Look at those ninnies. <laughs> Underneath, it could work. It worked! It worked! <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> You're lucky, guys. Thanks to these ball and chains, you can dispense with night duty. Good news, right? But, uh... Nothing can get past this system? Actually, I can. Wanna see? To activate or deactivate the system, I just tap in a special code. Now, it's deactivated. And now, it's activated again. So what's the code? Aha. Uh -huh. I've written it down somewhere. Top secret, of course. Well, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this ball and chain. Ah! Oh. At midnight, the ball and chain security system will be deactivated for one minute. Mm -hmm. Let's not ask why, mm. just go! Go fetch by moonlight? That's fun! <laughs> and now we take off the balls! The Daltons have escaped? How is that possible? We don't know. You were the one who took us off not duty. This is all because of those balls, but now you need us to find the Daltons. Hmm. Ready? Yes, 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 yes. Which way did they go? But don't you worry, we'll find those guys. Yeah, because we are the best search and watch system. Excellent. Which way? That, that way. way. That, that way! way. Hmm? Mm -hmm. My system's infallible. If the Daltons escaped, it's because they had the code. Then it's not infallible, is it? 
Well then, there's a safety trigger. At 10 miles distance from the penitentiary, the balls explode. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, a big boom. Oh, that's so pretty. I tell you, that's dangerous. Let's keep away from it. Hey, you have to help me carry it. Thanks. Satisfaction or money back? Money back. Uh, no, 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 no. But what is... Watch out! <laughs> Let's follow their tracks. I feel heavy. It's better. Got rid of the ball. Free at last! Huh? All right, back to jail. If I told you someone helped us, you believe me, right? Uh-uh. No one believes me, and they wonder why I'm always so grumpy!